Namaste and Jai Swami Narayan. Welcome to part two of the Gujarati course. Through this video, we hope to refresh and extend your knowledge of the Gujarati language. As with the previous video, we hope that when classes start up again, you'll be ready and refreshed to learn new and exciting things. We will begin with the Jai Nad to welcome Bhagwan Swami Narayan and our Gurus into this class and to help us prepare our minds to learn Gujarati. Shri Swami Narayan Bhagwan Ni Jai Akshar Purushottam Maharaj Ni Jai Gunati Tanan Swami Maharaj Ni Jai Bhagat Ji Maharaj Ni Jai Shastri Ji Maharaj Ni Jai Yogi Ji Maharaj Ni Jai Ramuk Swami Maharaj Ni Jai Mahant Swami Maharaj Ni Jai Ramuk Swami Maharaj Shatabdi Motsav Ni Jai Before we begin, let's remind ourselves of a few guidelines to help us get the most out of our learning. You're watching these videos to learn Gujarati, so there's no need to feel embarrassed when following along and taking part. We actively want you to follow along and repeat the letters, words and phrases as they come up on screen. So, make sure you get involved all the way through the video. Try and memorize as much as you can when watching these videos. Don't sit quietly and just take some notes. We will be learning many songs to help us learn different aspects of the language. All these songs will help us to learn different things. So sing along, sing loudly, sing proudly that you're learning the Gujarati language. We'll also be doing some activities. Again, take part, play along. The only thing that's going to happen is that you will gain a quicker and deeper understanding of the Gujarati language. Do you remember what the clever scientist said last time? In order to remember the most amount of information, we all need to see, hear, say, and most important, importantly, do something when we're learning. In that way, you will get the most benefit from this course. Most importantly, Parampuja Pramukh Swami Maharaj has said that Bhasha Jase to Sanskar Jase. Lose your language and you lose your values and your culture. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned last time. Remember that each letter has only one form. There are no capital letters in Gujarati. Letters are always pronounced the same way. The numbers tune goes four, four, five, 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 four, three, four. The colors tune goes red and yellow and pink and green, orange and purple, blue, black. And there is an amazing alphabet tune to help us learn all the letters of the alphabet. Let's revise the numbers tune. We'll listen to it once so we can refresh our memories and then we'll sing along together. Great, that was some nice singing there. Let's also repeat the colours tune as well. Again, let's listen to it first and then sing along the second time. Amazing. And let's go through the alphabet song to make sure that we remember all the letters of the alphabet. Repeat each letter after me. Ka. Ka. 
ga ga cha cha ja ja ta tha da dha a ta tha da dha na pa fa ba bha ma ya ra la va sha sha sa ha ara ksha gna brilliant now let's hear the tune once and then we'll sing along Brilliant. Now let's sing along. Let's do that once more, but this time we'll keep all the letters of the alphabet on screen. Easy, isn't it? With just a little bit of practice. OK, so let's play a game. All you have to do is shout out the letter of the alphabet as it comes up on screen. The letters are in a random order and they won't be on screen for long, so you have to be quick. Ready, steady, go. Do you want to try again? Yeah? Okay, let's do this again then. But this time the letters are going to com be coming even faster. Three, two, one, go. Amazing! That was brilliant! 
I hope that you recognise most of those letters. Well done for remembering as many as you did. We're now going to move on to learn about the Gujarati vowels. Let's have a quick reminder of how the vowels work in English. The vowels are part of the alphabet. There are five of them, as we know, and there are two ways to write them, as you can see on screen. In Gujarati, the vowels are known as swar. There are a few more vowels than in English. There are 13 in Gujarati. And there are two types. There are long ones and there are short ones. The short ones we say quickly and the long ones with a little bit longer. There are three short vowels, but all of the rest are long. The unique thing about the Gujarati vowels is that we can actually write them in two different ways. We can write them on their own or we can add them to the letter of the alphabet, the consonants. Don't worry, we'll go through all of them so that you understand it and you're clear about how it all works. What you can see on screen are the 13 vowels. The three short vowels are in blue and the rest of the red ones are all long. Let's go through them one by one. Repeat the vowels after me. We'll say each one of them twice. Ah. 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 E. 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 O. O. U, U, Ru, Ru. The vowels may sound funny on their own, but their superpower is that when we add them to the letters of the alphabet, they help us to pronounce any sound that makes a word in Gujarati. Now, let's go through the last two lines of the alphabet. Again, repeat the word after me, and we'll say each letter twice. E. E. I. I. O. 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 Um. Um. Aha. Aha. Brilliant. I hope you got all of that. Some of the vowels sound a bit the same, but with practice, you'll learn the differences. So now it's time to bring in a new tune to help us remember the vowels and how to pronounce them. Listen along first, and then we'll sing it together. Great, now let's sing it together. Okay, let's play another game. As we did with the letters of the alphabet, all you have to do is shout out the vowels as they come up on screen. They'll be in a random order and they won't be on screen for long, so you'll have to be quick. Ready, steady, go. Tricky, isn't it? But with practice, we can get better, so let's have another go. Three, two, one, go. Brilliant. Let's take a quick break here and have a look at what we've learned so far. 
as well as maybe having a quick stretch or drinking some water. We've learned that there are 13 vowels in Gujarati. There are three short vowels and 10 long vowels. You can use the vowels on their own in words or add them to the letters of the alphabet to make different combinations of sounds to help us to read and write Gujarati. Now we're going to move on to learn to recognize the vowels when they're joined to the letters of the alphabet. What we can see on screen is that the first line is the vowel. The second line is the name of the vowel when we describe it, when we join it to the letter of the alphabet. The third line shows you how the vowels look together with the letter of the alphabet. And the last line is just an example using the letter ga. So the first vowel, a, has no special name, and that's because of its superpower. Every letter of the alphabet, ga, ka, ga, ga, has the a sound at the end of it. Go on, try some letters out for yourself, and you'll see that they all have an a sound at the end. So that means we don't join this vowel to any other letter. The second vowel is a. The line you can see at the end is called a gano. And when we join the a vowel to the letters, we just keep the gano. The two e vowels are different because the first one is short and so it's known as a rasva e. Rasva means short. When joining it to the letters, it turns into an umbrella or a walking stick shape that you write in front of the letter. Dirga means long. And so dirga e is the long version of e. And it's the same shape, just written at the end of the letter. The two u's follow the same rule. One is short, rasva u, and the other is long, dirga u. When we write it together with a letter, we write it as a swish under the letter, as you can see in the example. Some of you might be wondering where rule went. Rule is a little bit more complicated, so we'll leave that one for now and look at it separately afterwards. For e and a, the little line at the top is called a matra, and so in e it's known as ek matra because there's one line, and in a it's no, it has two lines, and so it's known as be matra. Simple. When joining e and a to the letter, we just take the ek or be matra and add it above the letter. O and O follow the same rules. They both have a kano, a line at the end, and they either have one or two matras. So O is known as kano matra, and O is known as kano be matra. We've already seen how both of these are written, so you should be able to work out how to write them with the letters. Yep, you write the kano next to the letter and the matra above the letter. And our last two are um and aha. The dot in um is known as the anuswar. Can you say that? Anuswar. And in the same way, we add the anuswar, the dot, to the top of each letter. The two dot in aha, what we'd call a colon in English, is known as the visarg. That's an interesting word, visarg. And we write it after the letter. And that's it. That's how we join the vowels to the letter of the alphabet. Now, you might be wondering how to pronounce the letters when they are joined together with the vowels. Well, let's find out. Here's a song that will help us to pronounce the letters and vowels together. We'll listen to the song once and then we'll sing along together afterwards. Before we start the song, let's understand what we're seeing on screen. On the left, we have the letter of the alphabet. It can be any letter. We're using ga as it's the first letter. Then there's a ni. Ne means and, so we have letter and. The next bit is the name of the vowel sign. So the words in the first line, kai nahi, mean nothing. So we have ga and nothing, because a we don't add, is ga, ga, ga. The second line is ga ne kano, meaning ga and kano is ga, ga, ga. Ga plus a is ga. Got it? Great! Let's listen to the song. Ga <laughs> 
Did that make sense? I hope so. It's our turn now. Make sure you sing along and if you get stuck, just join in again at the start of the next line. Remember to listen and repeat. Ready? Let's go. Congratulations! You've learned how to say the letters of the alphabet when they're joined to the vowel sounds. Amazing! Here's a fun and interesting fact. Just by learning to do this, joining the letters to the vowels, you've probably learned more than half of the Gujarati that you need to be able to read, write, speak and listen Gujarati fluently. But before we get too ahead of ourselves, I need to introduce another word to you. Barakri. What is the Barakri? Well, the Barakri is all the letters of the alphabet joined together with every vowel. It's a bit like a maths problem, but for Gujarati. In maths, we have one plus two is three. So in Gujarati, we have letter plus vowel equals Barakri. It's easier to understand if you see it. So what we can see on screen is everything that we've learned so far. On the left hand side, we have the letters of the alphabet. Across the top, we have the vowel signs. And in the middle is where we've joined the letters and the vowel signs together. So you can see in the first line, we just sung that, ga plus a is ga. Ga plus a is ga. Ga plus e is ki, and so on. We can do the same for every letter. So let's look at ga. Ga plus a is ga. Ga plus a is ga. Ga plus e is gi, and so on. Here are more letters. Let's try a few more. Ja plus a is ja. Excellent, you've got it. Ja plus a is 
Yep, correct again. Ja. But the letter in red is something special. Normally, according to the rules, ja plus e, and that's the long e, is g. It should be written in the same way as the others. But because we use this a lot, we write it in a slightly different way. And we've joined the umbrella or the walking stick to the end of the ja. We still pronounce it the same way. It's just written slightly differently and we just need to be aware. Here's the third line of the alphabet and it's the same rules for these letters. Looking across the top line, we have da, da, di, di, du, du, de, dai, do, do, dum, daha. You try a line. Pick a letter and say the letter plus the vowel sign from left to right. Give it a go now. Great, the fourth line looks just like the others. Let's all try another line here in the fifth line. Pick a letter from the fifth line and say the letter plus the vowel going from left to right. For example, ba, ba, bi, bi, and so on. You pick a letter and you give it a go. Brilliant. The sixth line has two letters that are written a little bit differently. Everything else is the same. They are ra plus short u and ra plus long u. So ru and ru. They are written differently, as you can see on screen in red, but remember, they're still pronounced the same way. And we come to the last two lines. As with the others, they look the same. So pick a letter and try and say the whole line out loud from left to right. Ready, steady, go. Brilliant, you're getting the hang of saying the letters and vowels together and going forwards, remember the golden rule. In Gujarati, you say the letter and vowel in the same way no matter where it is in the word. Remember this and it will make reading and writing words and sentences so much easier. Right, we've done a lot of learning just now, so it's time to play a game. Same with the vowels we did earlier, but this time the letters and the vowels will come together, so the barakri will come up on screen. One at a time, in a random order. You just have to shout out the sound that they make. Got it? Great, let's go. Ready? Remember, the letters will pop up quite quickly. Three, two, one, go. Let's have another go. The letters will come up a bit faster this time. And remember, if you get stuck, don't worry, just join in again with another letter.
Last round. The letters are going to come up super quick. Ready, steady, go. was amazing congratulations how many did you get in that last round more than half more than three quarters well you probably did better than me for sure so before we end let's have a quick recap of what we learned today we've learned that there are 13 vowels in Gujarati three short vowels and 10 long vowels you can use the vowels on their own in words or add them to letters of the alphabet to make different combinations to help us read and write Gujarati when you join the letters of the alphabet to the vowels they are known as the Barakri. The vowels are A, A, E, E, U, U, Ru, E, A, O, O, Um, Aha. Remember, the more we can practice, the better we'll become at recognizing and saying the Barakri. And remember the golden rule, the way you pronounce a letter or a vowel doesn't change when you have them in a word. So the way you have learned to pronounce the Barakri today is the way you pronounce the letters and vowels in any word, sentence, phrase or any way you see it. Namaste, Pranam and Jai Swaminarayan.